traumatic brain injury is caused when there's an external force uh, applied to the skull and then to the brain. Um, and, and it can vary in severity, of course, from, from a injury related to, say, a concussion um, that can happen in a number of cases, like sport-related concussions or, or a fall and, uh, and brief levels of, or brief periods of disorientation or disawareness, uh, all the way to uh, very severe uh, injuries where there's loss of consciousness or bleeding in the brain or requiring some kind of uh, surgical procedure or, or close monitoring. Um, and, and every injury is, is unique. It's different for every individual and it's treated differently. Um, the, the most important thing about it is to be aware of the potential um, consequences uh, of these injuries, to seek immediate medical attention um, if you experience symptoms that um, are prolonged or, or um, worrisome. Um, and, and make certain that you uh, seek you know, specialized medical care at the first opportunity. Prevention uh, starts with, with knowledge and awareness of, of the risks associated with um, activities that people choose to do. And, and, and if, um, if everyone is aware of the risks uh, of all kinds of activities of this kind that involve high velocities or even, or even falls, um, then, then uh, they should take care to, to minimize those risks. And ways to do that is, in addition to gaining knowledge, is, is to have protective equipment uh, um, when they are in, in risky situations, like driving a car, like um, you know, all kinds of uh, sporting events that uh, are involved in high velocity and so forth, and, and make certain that they minimize those risks. Personal protective equipment, and, and th that's jargon for wearing seat belts, making certain that your car has an airbag, uh, uh, making certain that you wear a helmet, and, and other kinds of protective uh, equipment uh, when you are in high velocity situations. But also, make certain that, that if you're unsteady on your feet, that you have uh, have you know a gate aid or something that would minimize your risk for falling. Falling is a very common cause of of injury, of traumatic brain injury. Um, you know, um, intoxicating chemicals are, are add significant risk to to all uh, activities, um, and certainly at increased for risk for for traumatic brain injury when doing these activities. The brain rehabilitation programs uh, here at Mayo Clinic. Um, uh, organize and coordinate rehabilitation care for uh, brain disorders from any cause, uh, including traumatic brain injury. And um, the rehabilitation services are integrated into the acute uh, care in the hospital. And then the, the spectrum of care is provided um, throughout uh, in the longitudinal sort of continuum of care from the acute side of the hospital into inpatient rehabilitation if that's required and then um, in the outpatient setting where the, uh, our brain rehabilitation clinic is, it coordinates care there. It's, it, it's crucial that, that, um, that the, the practice is integrated among neurosurgical services, trauma surgical services, neuro, neurologi, uh, neurology services in the hospital and that also um, the, the care is multidisciplinary across departments and across disciplines uh, to provide comprehensive care because not everyone will require all these services, but, but some will require some of them and you need to have a, this spectrum of services to, to really customize and individualize the treatment uh, for these individuals um, um, to, you know, to improve their, um, their outcomes.